Hey everyone and welcome to another Marks and Crafts review. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Pop-Up Parade L Guts Berserker Armor. Now I've had a little bit of a rocky history with Pop-Up Parade as this channel is a living testament to that. Basically I have had more misses than hits I would say and not all of them make it into videos. So while my channel may normally seem pretty positive about the brand, the last few releases have been less than stellar, and with a price increase happening with the brand, and quality seem to be dipping, as well as questionable design choices, uh, my enthusiasm for the brand very very quickly diminished. But that should hopefully all change because of the Pop-Up Parade L line, which are effectively larger scale figures, more detail, more effort, and a higher price tag. But because they're a higher grade of figure, they can be a lot more ambitious. And that's what we've got here right now, which is the first proper Berserk figure in a very long time. Well, proper or official Berserk figure in a very long time that is not uh, a bankrupting sum from uh, Prime One Studios, who make amazing figures, but I just cannot afford them. But anyway, this is the first somewhat affordable Berserk figure in a very, very, very long time, as well as the first Pop-Up Parade L. There will also be a Pop-Up Parade XL, not as uh, Berserk, but as Fairy Tail, Attack on Titan, and I believe they are planning other brands as well, and they're even bigger than this. But today we're looking at Guts, and hopefully he can convince me that uh, Papa Parade's worth sticking around for. So, I don't usually go through box design for Papa Parades, but this is the first L, and if this is any indication of the brand going forward, I quite like what they're doing here. So there's no clear box window, it's just uh, the main splash art, as well as the typical Papa Parade branding that we have been getting so far, but it's all printed on the box, on the side. There's a photo of the full figure on display, on the back just some very basic stuff which is normally on the back of any other pop-up parade, just much larger as well as a few shots here. That is an image, so it's just covered by the glare, that is an image of Guts with an LED unit in his head. Now the figure does not include an LED unit, it is sold separately uh, and the communication of that is not super great, um, but I do have the LED unit so we will be installing that uh, during the review and hopefully it'll make the figure even better. So uh, there's also an image on the top which looks fantastic uh, and then nothing going on on the bottom. So the general presence of the, this box is way better than any other pop-up parade. Uh, if this is the way going forward, love it so much better looks like a, a much more high-end figure and the splash art image uh, promo art is just fantastic. So uh, I guess we'll open it up and see if the figure's any good. Okay so taken out of the box and with some very minor assembly here is Guts in the Berserker armor. Now what I think of this figure, yeah it's pretty good. <laughs> now I've had my problems with pop-up print in the past uh, and they are incredibly hit or miss so this might not be an indication of anything going forward, but yeah, I like it. They had to deliver on this figure. If they didn't, man, that would have ruined them. Uh, this is fantastic. It's incredible. It's not uh, a giant, giant figure, but that's mainly because Guts is perched uh, in this sort of stance, and it's a very iconic shot in Berserk. I'm not nearly that far, but I do know the pose, I do, do, do know what the Berserker armor is, and I know how important this was to capture as a figure. He's just so dynamic, so good. I'm not too sure about if I set up the sword correctly with this blowing in this direction, but it seemed to be uh, correct on the box, so I'm going with that. But I love the dynamic flow of the cape, the pose, the detail on the armor. The only thing that I don't really like, which is consistent across pretty much the entire brand, is this freaking hexagon base. <laughs> if they're already ditching the base design and doing an actual hunk of rock as part of the base, just continue it on. Just like, I don't want this to be <laughs> iconic to the pop up parade line. I just would like it to be a nice figure um, that can be its own thing. I don't really want to 
think about it as part of the pop up parade line. But anyway, that's a me problem. It's always been a me problem. But yeah. So, out of the box, this is pretty much all you get. You do also get an alternate headpiece with uh, black eyes, which we will be installing later, and that's where the LED goes. But, for anyone else, you have very nicely painted metallic eyes, uh, and that gives a nice glowing effect. So, we'll go in for a closer look, so you can see how this figure holds up. Now, you can see there's some incredible detail work all throughout the figure. It's just some cool etched in detail all around it. It's so good, so faithful to the series. Uh, it just looks fantastic. It doesn't seem like what Pop-Up Parade normally does, which is half-assing the smaller details, making things very simple and everything like that. This is definitely them sort of flexing, very similar to like the Goblin Slayer figure that uh, was one of the very first ones they did and it had grime and detail and rust it just looked a fantastic figure and it seems like that's finally carried over into another figure of theirs uh, and they really had to in the dark fantasy epic that is Berserk so you can see some incredible detail work all along the figure both sides of the face are painted looks menacing looks cool guts is very iconic sword is nicely detailed. I wouldn't have minded a bit more sort of like maybe uh, some blood or something like that on it just like a little a little something to give it a bit of texture considering uh, what else is going on in this figure and it looks so good. I don't know if that's intentional this sort of line. I'm not sure if it's shading or it's just like a messy paint job um, but the coat itself is um, shaded and detailed which is great as well and there's a good contrast between the finishes of the coat slash cape and the armor so it does break it up in person it might not seem that great on camera but you can definitely tell that they're two separate uh, pieces and moving down on the figure you can see the rock base which is pretty standard uh, but it does what it needs to do. There's some good texturing there, some nice detail there. Uh, the sort of deep crouch of guts or the squat uh, looks good. It's just a very, very nicely done figure. And again, just incredibly dynamic. Just very, very well done. Which is great because they really, really needed to deliver on this figure. If they didn't, uh, I don't think I would have continued the pop-up parade line. Uh, but I have significantly reduced the amount of pop-ups I pre-order. It's more uh, I wait until they come out, see if they're any good, and then grab one. Which sort of defeats the purpose of reviewing them, um, because I'll always be late to the party. But I would rather have a nice figure than uh, be early. So that's where I stand on that. But we will go over... I know that I should usually do... Uh, my normal review structure, which is paint, sculpt, gimmicks, issues, and things like that. Um, but I sort of jumped right into it uh, and was talking about the paint and sculpt without really entering that proper. Uh, and again, paint and sculpt is fantastic. Uh, if it wasn't, you would definitely know about it. Uh, I can't see any real paint errors on this. Uh, again, the sword, just a little bit of weathering on the handle would have been nice because it just looks a little plasticky. Um, but yeah, it just seems like the sword's the only part that could have used just a little, little extra love and care. Um, and Sculpt and Paint Drop is absolutely fantastic. But we might as well get to the gimmick of this figure. And the gimmick is this alternate headpiece. You can see the eyes are just barely painted in there, which means that if you shine either a white or a red light, it will still shine through as red, but a uh, red light would be recommended. And there's a slot in there for the LED. I'll show you what the LEDs look like. So these are the LEDs that you need. They are the Hiromi, well, I think you can use any that uh, are the right size, but as far as I can tell, it's always Hiromi for Good Smile Company. But Hiromi 316W or 316R, there are multiple different numbers and multiple different sizes indicated by the numbers. Um, so these ones are the 316s, which are required for the kit pop it out and these are really crazy LEDs you basically just like press on it like a button and then it lights up 
it's similar to what they did with the Goblin Slayer Nendroid uh, years ago. They did pretty much the exact same thing. And then you slot that in, and that looks pretty damn incredible. And there we have Guts with the LED feature installed. And the glow really, really brings it together. That is fantastic. Uh, the only problem is that it is quite hard to turn off the LED. Like, you'll always need to take out the head uh, and then take off the LED and then turn off the LED. There's no s simple switch mechanism, unfortunately. Um, but they are very small lights, so, you know, pretty forgiven, pretty easy. It's not really much of an issue. And the metallic eyes are fantastic, so you can just have that as the ready thing most of the time. This is more just a party trick to show off every now and again. It's literally that. It's a gimmick. It's a cool gimmick. A little bit of a hassle, but a cool gimmick nonetheless. But yeah, look, there isn't that much to talk about for this figure. It's just, it's what it needed to be. Uh, and because of that, it's not necessarily super impressive. It's like, I'm really, really glad it's what I wanted it to be because I wanted a really good looking Guts figure, and this is a really, really good looking Guts figure. Um, so it's hard to talk about in terms of, like, this is amazing, this is fantastic, oh, I can't wait for more. I don't really know, it just sort of delivered on the expectation that I wanted to have, so it's a bit weird like that. Um, it doesn't necessarily make me excited for more pop-up parade L's because so far the other ones they've shown haven't been super impressive. The panty and stocking ones could be cool, um, but that works more as a diorama type thing. So this doesn't really sell me on the thing of, oh, pop-up parade is good again now. Uh, it's more, oh, they can still make good stuff. So I'm still cautiously optimistic about them, but more on the, e more <laughs> on the edge of caution. Uh, so that's sort of where I stand on the brand. Uh, I am just so happy that this turned out. It really, really needed to turn out. Uh, and I'm glad that it did. But we will see how they go in the future. Again, I'm not super into uh, what they've been doing lately. And I'm just going to sort of approach the brand with a sort of wait and see sort of mindset. Uh, I also don't like how they're <laughs> almost sort of locking pop-up parades behind little paywalls like they just announced over the weekend uh, another figures and there's a standard release as well as a Good Smile exclusive release. They tried this again before with uh, My Hero Academia with Toga. I don't think it worked that well. It was sort of annoying just to do a swappable face or something. Don't, don't have like a separate figure and it's literally just a face swap. And uh, they have also done uh, collector's edition exclusive pop-up parades in the past and are doing it again with Street Fighter VI. So I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, they're definitely overambitious and I don't think it's going to work out all the time. I think we're still going to keep running into massive quality control issues um, and things just not panning out right. But that's for uh, Good Smile to figure out. And uh, if it turns out good, it turns out good. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I'm not going to be super invested in the brand anymore. But yeah, that's pretty much it. This is a fantastic figure in its own right. Uh, and I highly recommend it. You don't need any other pop-up parades to make this look good. It can stand on its own any day of the week. So that in and of itself is worth it. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed that video and I will see you all next time.